Tuesday, October 9th, 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, a quick update on Hurricane Michael. As we're probably approaching 24 hours from conditions starting to deteriorate along the Florida Panhandle, making landfall sometime tomorrow afternoon as more than likely a major hurricane, a Category 3. Right now, the numbers from the National Hurricane Center have this thing at 110 mile an hour Cat 2 with a minimum central pressure of 965 millibars and dropping. That means when that number gets lower, the winds get higher and the storm is intensifying, becoming stronger. Right now, the National Hurricane Center does have this becoming a major hurricane this afternoon. On Tuesday, October 9th, remaining a major hurricane uh, up until landfall, creating tremendous storm surge. And don't underestimate this one, guys. This is the real deal. So if you're staying along the shoreline here where it's red, you might want to have a life jacket handy. And I'm not kidding. This is going to be an overachiever. It's going to remain a hurricane 60 miles inland, clear up to the southwestern coast or the southwestern corner of Georgia. It will still be officially a hurricane, remaining a tropical storm for many miles inland, bringing wind and rain to the Carolinas that definitely do not need it. I want to show you something here from tropicaltidbits.com. This is an infrared look at the storm. The colors represent a, a level or a degree of strength. If you look at the center of Michael right here, this is the rotation from basically when it was forming down in the Cuba area. Now it's moving north at 12 miles per hour. See those pinks and the dark blacks? Watch this again. See the pinks and dark blacks in the center? Those are near the top of the chart. Those are some big, powerful storms. Leslie is still churning out here in the North Atlantic. And guess what? Leslie is going to be there for at least another week. Unbelievable. That's got to be some kind of a record. That's the 53rd advisory from the National Hurricane Center, and they're going to do more. It will probably be up into the 60s, maybe the 70s. And that storm has gone nowhere. It stayed right here in this general area for now going on a month. Unbelievable. Michael's not wasting any time. It's quickly moving up into the Florida Panhandle. And guys, look for some incredible storm surge associated with this storm. This is a map from the National Hurricane Center showing the potential storm surge heights. The reds are 9 feet, um, and in some cases above 9 feet. And I think it's going to be every bit of that. This is a very big, powerful storm, and it's not weakening. It's getting stronger, and it has everything in its favor to become a stronger hurricane. And let me explain something to you that I've noticed. This storm formed, well, down here by the Yucatan Peninsula, came up through here, and overall the waters in the Gulf of Mexico are very warm, and they are pretty much all of the time. But right now they're unseasonably warm directly where this storm is going. Let me show you the sea surface temperature anomaly feature. This storm formed right in here, became a hurricane. Those temperatures are below average for this time of year. Green represents below average. The dark pinks and burgundy represent above average anomaly. In fact, anomalous temperature readings for this time of year. And that's exactly where Michael is headed right into these waters right here. That's why they have this storm strengthening at landfall or right before landfall because of those temperatures right there. Watch this. Cat 3 later on, well within the next 12 hours, by this evening it'll be a category 3. Remaining a category 3 up to landfall. Keep in mind Katrina was a cat 3 when it made landfall. I understand Katrina was a Cat 5, went down to a Cat 4, then a Cat 3 at landfall, but still, it was a Category 3 at landfall, like Michael is supposed to be. The storm surge in this area, even though it's a little higher than New Orleans, New Orleans sets below sea level, these areas here could see greater than 9 foot 
of storm surge, and I think it's going to see every bit of that in the areas that the National Weather Service has pointed out here. And I can, or I'm sorry, the National Hurricane Center has pointed out. It's going to be every bit of that, guys. This is a big, powerful storm. Like I said, Katrina was a Cat 3 at landfall. This is the storm right now as I do this video. It's getting stronger as I do this video as it's entering warmer waters. See the outflows? It's got everything going for it in its favor. It's leaving what little wind shear that it was in. This area here is all free and clear. No wind shear, warmer waters. The convergence, which are its inflows, are huge. Divergence are its outflows, which are even bigger. This thing is massive. And there's the vortices. Unbelievable, guys. This is a huge storm. Look at these outflows one more time. Look at that. That's just massive. That's a big, powerful storm. And it's got flanks. It's got help. This storm is just really, really big. These are not directly associated with uh, Hurricane Michael, but they're coming in bringing severe weather right now to the Jacksonville, Florida area. They're kind of moving at the same speed as Michael, moving in a counterclockwise motion, but they, believe it or not, are not directly associated with Hurricane Michael that's forecasted to become a Category 3 storm. Going back to this area here, we know historically the right quadrant of all hurricanes typically um, produce tornadoes, or at least they can. I know when I was in Florida and I was in Hurricane Charlie, that storm produced multiple tornadoes in the right quadrant of that storm as it went through central Florida. And this storm, just like Charlie and other storms historically, are no different. This will be the area of that right quadrant of Michael as it makes landfall in the Panama City area. And these areas, these uh, red uh, circles that I have on this map that I've made are the areas that could see the potential for tornado formation from Hurricane Michael as it gets close to and makes landfall. Because that's where the right quadrant will be in this area. So be on the lookout for not only tropical storm-like conditions, you'll probably see thunderstorms like you're already seeing now in the Jacksonville area. But as the storm gets close and is producing storm surge along the coast, look for tornadoes between the 12 o'clock and the 3 o'clock position. That would be the northeast quadrant of Hurricane Michael, as tornadoes can and will be favorable in those areas. But I can't emphasize enough the storm surge associated with this storm. This is a big, powerful overachiever, once again, here at weathernerds.org. See the purple and the black? Top of the charts, guys. They just can't measure them any stronger. No. This is blue. Look at the blue. Top of the chart. It's a big, strong storm. Here it is on the goes visible. Look at this thing coming together. And it is uh, developing an eye wall. It's been there. You just couldn't see it. Big, high-reaching, tall, powerful thunderstorms. Here it is at windy.com making landfall sometime Wednesday afternoon. That's tomorrow afternoon. Wind gusts of over 100 mile an hour. Easy storm surge is going to be easy for this storm, guys. If you've ever looked at this area on Google Earth, again, I can't emphasize enough the storm surge potential with this storm. This thing is absolutely huge. And the area, look, the water's shallow through here. It's going to push it up easy. Easy. So don't be hanging around this area. If you can at all afford to get away from this area, uh, even going north, it, it would be better than being along the coast from the Florida Panhandle down to this area here. could see significant storm surge as well. Dixie County or Dixie, all through here in what they call the Big Bend. Going to see a lot of storm surge, guys. No joke. And it's coming within the next 24 to 36 hours. This is a big, powerful storm. These are the sea surface temperature anomalies in this area that will increase the strength of this storm. It's just now entering the um, exceptionally warmer waters. Just now. It's been forming down here in warm waters. But comparatively speaking, 
cooler than where it's headed now. Turn the anomaly feature off and you can see all that water in there is very warm. Null school showing the same thing, making landfall with wind gusts of over 120 miles per hour. So this is a big, powerful, overachieving storm that will make landfall soon within the next 24 to 36 hours. Look for this thing to bring a lot of uh, storm surge and high winds. Remaining a hurricane clear up into the southwest corner of the state of Georgia. 60 miles inland, it will still be a Category 1 hurricane. Big powerful storm, guys. Take it seriously. If they're asking you to evacuate these areas that they have especially highlighted in red, by all means do so. Even orange, that's six-foot storm surge. In fact, let's go to the National Hurricane Center map. We'll click on Michael. We'll look at the storm surge inundation map. I'll post the link down below in the description box in case you haven't seen this. And this is where they're predicting the highest storm surge. It's the same map that I just showed you. Take this up. Red is greater than 9 feet above normally dry ground. That's not a creek that goes up to 9 feet. That's normally dry ground with an additional 9 feet or greater of water on it. That's tough. And you can see it covers a very wide area. Yellow is 3 feet. Blue is 1 foot. Orange is 6 foot. Red is 9 foot above ground above normally dry ground so be ready guys this is a big powerful storm i wanted to give you an update i was gonna wait until it becomes a cat 3 but we'll still do an update later on tonight or tomorrow as this thing intensifies but i wanted to show you how and why it's going to intensify these dark colors you see around the center of rotation represent height and strength a lot of times with storms all you'll see are the dark orange and maybe a burgundy, and those are exceptionally strong. When they get up into these blacks and even those whites right there, again, that's at the top of the scale. This is a high-end storm, okay? And remember, Katrina made landfall as a Category 3. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.